Today we are going to talk about bad beauty habits and I wrote down a few things on a piece of paper that I thought of that I do that probably isn't the best and that I should change. And the first thing is washing off my makeup every single day. I will take makeup removing wipes and I'll wipe my makeup off, but there are some days that I just really slack on washing my face with face wash. And um, using makeup remover wipes is good to get your eye makeup off and kind of get like the top layer of your makeup off, but a lot of that makeup sinks into your pores and it just it stays in there and it's pretty gross. I didn't realize how much it really did that until I got a Clarisonic and when I after I wipe off all my makeup and I use the Clarisonic and I'm done, you can see you can still see makeup color on the head. So even though I'm wiping my face off with the wipes, it's not getting all of the makeup off. And um, just lately, you, I was being, I was doing really well using my Clarisonic every single day. But for the past couple weeks, I've been kind of slacking and just using the makeup wipes. And of course, I start to break out a little bit. So I need to get back in the routine of getting all of my makeup off. Um, the other thing that has to do with the face is that I sleep on my face. So um, it's best to be able to just sleep on your back, but I'm not comfortable and so I'm on my belly. My face is buried into the pillow and I just, I rub my face in my pillow. So especially first thing in the morning when I don't want to get up and my daughter is like, mom, it's time for the day. I'm like, no, like into my pillow, which, you know, tugs at the delicate skin around your eyes. You can get premature wrinkles and it's just not good for your face. Plus, then you get all that bacteria on your pillowcase and you're just rubbing it right back in. So ideally you should switch out your pillowcases every single day, but I don't think many people do that. Maybe that should be one of the things that I change. We'll see if that actually happens. So that is another habit. The other thing is not wearing um, eye cream every day. I have eye cream and I don't put it on every single day, but it's really good to have that moisture right under your eyes. You know, you don't want to put your regular face moisturizer right under your eyes. It might be a little bit too harsh and irritating for that area. So getting a special eye cream for that and then actually using it is something that I need to do. Um, touching my face and my hair. So I touch my face so much and I rarely catch myself doing it but even just doing this or like resting my hand on my face or you know just playing with my forehead who knows but all the nasties that are on your fingertips transfer to your face and it's it's gross and I kind of have sensitive skin where it does break out and it has been breaking out ever since I had my daughter my skin is just a lot more sensitive so the more I transfer oil and bacteria onto my face, the harder it is it's going to be to keep my skin clear. And the other thing is my hair. Um, I spent the last like four years growing my hair out to make it healthy. And so this part of my hair is actually a lot healthier and a lot softer. So I don't, you know, it's not as dry as it used to be. But even when it was really dry, my roots always get really really oily and it is so annoying and so disgusting and I washed I have to wash my hair every day but you're not supposed to wash your hair every day and you know you read things out there that say if you can train your oil glands to not produce as much oil if you go a certain period of time without washing your hair but I feel so gross if I don't wash my hair and even if I use a dry shampoo like I'll spray it and it's fine I spray it here and like I especially get oily right at the hairline. See me touching? This is what I do when I touch my head. But, um, so I guess one is stop touching my hair because that is transferring more oil onto my head, which I don't need. And the next habit would be to somehow figure out a way to not wash my hair every day. Sometimes I can stretch it out to two, but I usually have to pull my hair up. And then I just don't feel, it just kind of feels, ugh. 
And even when I use the dry shampoo, even though it may not look oily anymore, it doesn't feel clean. So I end up washing my hair. Um, cleaning makeup brushes. That is a big one, especially if you have acne prone skin. If you use a makeup brush to apply, apply foundation or um, a makeup pad or brush to put on powder and makeup on your eyes, you need to wash those brushes. The eye ones you can get away with a little bit longer, but the ones on your face, if you have acne on your face and you use the brush you put it on and the next day you use it to put on makeup again and you've washed your face and your face is clean, you're taking the bacteria off your brush and putting it back on your face, which is counterproductive. So I need to get better at washing them. I don't need to like wash them with soap and water and dry them every single day, but there are makeup cleaners or makeup brush cleaners that you can get and just kind of like wipe your brush on them to get, you know, get that gross stuff off. And the last thing, but it should really be the first thing, is an inside out type of um, bad beauty habit and that is drinking enough water. I haven't been drinking enough water lately and I can tell my skin kind of loses its glow and I do, you can just, the whole nature of my skin changes and water is so good for our bodies. We need water and if you are getting an adequate um, amount of water, that should help get a lot of the toxins out of your body, help clear up your skin, give you a brighter complexion. And um, I used to be really, really good at drinking a lot of water, and I haven't been lately, so I need to get back to drinking enough water a day. And then also just eating better. The way you treat your body, what you put inside of your body is going to reflect the outside of your body. So, you know, if you do, you know, I'm not saying that all people that eat bad have bad skin or all people that eat good have good skin, but, you know, before you start trying all kinds of treatments and ointments and stuff for your skin, take a look at your diet first and see if there's things that you can change. And if you notice that you don't have the healthiest diet, change it and see what happens with your skin. That might be something that will help rather than going out and spending a lot of money on products to try to fix the skin when you can just do something good for the inside of your body and you will receive the benefit of you know treating things on the outside of your body. So those are some bad habits that I want to break. Tell me what kind of habits you want to break. I'm going to film another video in about a month saying whether or not I was able to fix some of these habits and where I am and if there's any progress that's been made. Talk to you soon.